Welcome to the University of Pennsylvania, one of the oldest universities in the United States, and one that has always been a university that innovates, that believes in inclusion, and creates impact. There are a number of firsts to share with you. It was the first medical school in the United States, and it was where the American Medical Association was founded. It was also the first university to establish a collegiate business school. It was also the first institution to have a university teaching hospital. And it was the first university to award a PhD to an African-American woman in economics. And now we are advancing health equity. Let us tell you why we're so committed. Currently, inequities exist in our healthcare system, ranging from how patients access healthcare to how race is used uh, in the diagnosis and treatment of patients. Penn has a special responsibility to address issues of health equity. Given that it was the first medical school in the United States and its deep entanglements with slavery, we hope to make significant change in how race is used in the treatment and diagnosis of patients, as well as how medical students are trained around issues of race in their practice. I see health equity as essential to achieving or advancing public health, because you have to get to a state where every, everyone in the population and in the public has equal access to care and equal opportunity to achieve their best health. The Center for Health Equity Advancement is a partnership between the offices of the Chief Medical Officer at the Health System as well as the Office of Inclusion and Diversity at the School of Medicine. And this partnership allows us to really think critically and use a data-driven approach to ensure we achieve our mission, which is to deliver high quality care to all populations irrespective of their background or culture and also give all populations equal opportunity to achieve their ideal health. I think Penn has a special commitment to social justice. We were founded by Benjamin Franklin who said, justice will not be served until those who are unaffected are as outraged as those who are. At Penn, we have developed the IMPACT program, which is uh, an innovative way to address the social determinants of health. We actually go out and specially recruit and hire trusted lay people from within patient communities. They're very different from doctors, nurses, and social workers, and then they provide tailored support to patients focused on real life issues, not medical issues, but the underlying social issues that often drive poor health. We've tested this approach in three randomized control trials and have found that it improves mental health, access to care, quality of care, and also reduces hospitalization by 65%. We've served over 10,000 patients in the Philadelphia region and we're replicating the impact program across 18 states. At Penn Dental Medicine, we have three main initiatives that address oral health equity for our neighbors in West and Southwest Philadelphia. We have a mobile dental office on wheels. It's a dental vehicle called Penn Smiles that travels to 24 schools in the West and Southwest Philadelphia area to provide dental care for children. We also partner with five community health centers where we integrate dental care with the healthcare services individuals provide to make sure they receive the dental care they need. New this year is our Center for Care with Persons with Disabilities. This center will provide state-of-the-art clinical care for individuals with a wide range of disabilities, not only to focus on clinical care, but to be an international center for education and research to ensure health equity for disabled individuals. Our students and faculty at the School of Nursing are making a difference on a daily basis in the lives of patients at the point of care, in the work that we do with communities, and in the policies that we advocate in order to move towards health equity. In Philadelphia, we face the issues of gun violence, the issues of injury, the issues of 
providing care to sexual and ethnic and racial minorities. I think the communities see and feel the impact of our engagement of our students and faculty in areas and work that concerns them. One of the reasons we're able to make a difference at Penn is because of the high degree of interdisciplinarity that we have here. We have 12 schools in very close proximity, and we work closely together to address issues that face our city and our country. In my job as a Penn Integrates Knowledge Professor, I try to bring together the schools of medicine and nursing and business to innovatively come up with solutions that can help all Philadelphians have their best health. Here in Philadelphia, we've made tremendous strides towards improving health and building health equity for everyone, but we have a long way to go. We're gonna to have to work with leaders from every sector. We're gonna to need to learn together and work together if we're gonna have lasting impact. So my plea to you is join us in that collaboration.